How's it going guys and girls? Ever a hey, gimme give another exciting episode with more Zero Blade Chronicles free future redeem on the Nintendo Switch Rocket Tour. So last time we were able to take the grand tour at the Colony 9 from the original of Zero Blade Chronicles 1, uh, which it uh, appeared to look a little bit different than um this in a different type of mechanic to what, what we're seeing via that replica of how amazing Colony 9 is looking. Because it's the original, it's the home base of uh Shulk. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna play Shulk right now because um, since so this is the first time I've seen Shulk as an adult, so we're able to go ahead and take control, main control with him. So let's go and play with this dude, and we have to go ahead and slay to kill one of these uh, ignorant. Okay, so these guys are on level 22, and it, it, this shouldn't be too bad. So let's all keep our focus up. Okay, so whichever ignorant we focus on, I mean, had to got the. Water or between, okay, so now I'm powering the world and I'm taking a lot of damage, what the heck? Okay, so someone needs to come help revive me. Okay, this is not, this is not good, we, we gotta leave, we gotta leave. Okay, well nobody, nobody wanted to help me, okay, well, that was gonna be a whole lot of enemies there, and what the heck? Okay, so attacking enemy group head on is dangerous. It's usually better to lure away the solitary enemies and defeat them solo. Don't forget to level up and catch an affinity growth either. Uh, alternately, uh, alternately uh, you can uh, change the game difficulty level in the menu, it's a, it's a system, option, game. Alright, well, make perfect sense to me. Well, let's just go ahead and close all of this. Okay, but you know what? I mean, it could make it way more fast if we find somewhere to rest somewhere. I mean, yeah, we, we couldn't uh, take the 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 action approach to go and battle head on with uh, all of these ignite, which are, they're so powerful. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and work to to the rest spot. So uh, here we so here we go back at the rest spot. So we are going to to lay low for a little while. Good for eating. So it's best that we, yeah. So uh, let's not forget to go cook. Okay, so it seems to me because um, we can get the one that's called the the Chunky Veggie Soup. Okay, well, that may work, work for our interest, so let's go ahead and cook that. So we do, we do have enough uh, in material to go ahead and cook the soup. So, so yeah, I mean, that go ahead and increase the uh, meal effect for the, the combat strength for the experience point. So that go and grants up more by 30%. So uh, let's go to, actually, yeah, can we uh, craft some new gems? Let's find out. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So, um, so this is Perlis Present One. Start each the battle with Agro. No, I don't think we have enough of those. So, you know what? We, no, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get the Brim, the, the Brimin. What is it, Brimin? Okay, Brimin Spirit One. Let's go get that. This will be a good one. It should come in useful. Okay, we'll get the Brimin Spirit Two. So that go ahead and boost Agro generate when using art by twenty two percent. Yeah, let's go get that too. The ready. Let's take it first. And we can take a break from it. So it seems to me because we had to come back later and get whatever whatever material that we collected. So uh, let's go ahead and press on B and let's just uh, like take the uh, moment of pressure to, to take our time with crafting games. And yeah, let's just go ahead and do some level up. So we're going to level up each characters. So uh, what can we level up? Okay, so we we able to go level up to 22. These fists just keep hitting hard. Okay, so now it seems like that Shulk and A are training there. Alright, and let's make sure that we clean our clothes. Seems worth a wash. Alright, so we clean our clothes. Check it with upgrade S reader. How shall I go about improving? Okay, so it seems to me cause we still don't have enough material. So we need to get two more for the shining L look antler. Alright, so uh, for this one that says Synth Analyzes. So uh, let's scroll down. So this is Art Analyzes. So we need to get two of the painted the totem board. And four of the uh, Shulks, uh, Show Ox. Show Ox? I'm not enti entirely sure if I'm saying it correctly. Okay, well, I'm just going to say Flowers. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Show Ox. I may be bad at saying it. So uh, yeah, we need to get four of the Flower Whiskers. So um, let's go ahead and return with the B button and let's go move on. So uh, yeah, we're going to move on back to to find all these Ignites again. But I mean, we could just uh, go ahead and take the long travel there. I mean, we can get there on foot and uh, let's uh, talk about this, okay? Because um, I'd love to, uh, to take a look to, to, uh, to check in with the easy character 
fully growth of experience just to go ahead and raise up a bit of their uh, profit just to get game more stronger. I mean, that's the only way we keep the team occupied because we want to make sure we make the best of it by keeping each other team growing more stronger to one another. Okay, so uh, let's uh, make sure we keep pressing onward down here. So we're going to hit rock bottom. And well, once we do that, so uh, we we be able to go and get past to the sneak through bowls. That uh, critter, whatever that is. Okay, so that's an Igna. So, um, where are we going this time? Okay, so you no, know, we're not going to mess around with enemy territory right now. So uh, I think we took the wrong pathway. This is monster territory. Okay, we won't be focusing on enemy territory right now. That's something we can come back to later. Because we got everybody up to speed to level 22. So um, let's make sure that uh, we're well trained for all of this. Okay, because I see this is this is going to get pretty messed up because we're, we're able to encounter a lot of these enemies. Okay, so let's just make sure we focus on everything here. Okay, so we are getting a lot stronger. And let's make sure we get all the healing, you guys. So how in the world are we taking a lot of damage? Come on now. We can't be taking that much damage. Yeah, well, this is such a hard fight. I don't know if we can win this fight. Okay, well, this is kind of hard. Okay, so we had to retreat. I don't know, we need to take them out one at a time. These guys will never leave us alone. I mean, they're still fighting. You know what? Can you stop telling me what to do again, tutorial? I mean, stop burning me the tip over and over again, please. Okay, now let's go over with characters. Alright, we, we got to, to keep getting more stronger. So I don't know, I don't get why we're... we're we're able to get so weak and all. I mean, we're not. Well, technically, well, as I was saying, I mean, we're not building up enough enough combos here because uh, we, we aren't getting that much strong. So, so there's only just hold on. Now there are there already is two healers. Okay, so we get two defenders and two attackers. So, yeah, let's get rid of steel protection one. And we need to to build up more of this aggro, the 22%, to build up one of our arts. So uh, let's make sure we, we work on that. So um, yeah, I think we're all done with Gim right now. So uh, we should go ahead and look at accessories just to take a look at what we have. So let's get something new. So uh, yeah, we need to keep getting, we need to get Matthew a bit more stronger. And Shepard was short, so he, he got you the vibrant armor, so which will stay on. But uh, now you know what? Now let's get, not get the vibrant armor. Let's get the the one that's called the Challenger Gauntlet. Yeah, I mean, we should go try that. And the prayer necklace. Do we want to remove that? Yeah, I really think we should. So let's go give. Let's give Glimmer V the the circlet of wisdom. She'll be needing that. And for Nicole, okay, so when an attack is evaded, increase the attack aggro that towards the user by a small amount. Okay, well, we need to learn that. That's that's most important. Okay, now, the, yeah, so the wind necklace will stay on. So anything else new? Okay, so... Let's go give A V the wind necklace. Oh no no no, it's Bunnet Choker. Okay, I I miss saw the name because I I miss I miss say a Bunnet Choker right right there. My bad. Okay, so look to me because we're all set and well prepared now. Not so fast. We want to make sure we we go level up to each character. So let's start off with Shulk. Now see to me because we had to get Shulk more stronger. So um. Right back at you. When a nearby ally, ally is an attacker, deal 100% of attack and damage up to enemy. But yeah, we want to make sure we, we learn that. I can see the results. Yeah, I, I, I can hear you. Okay, so you know what? 
Glimmer is getting weaker, so we need to My to senses. increase up all all of this infinity. Got sharper. Okay, well let's just keep it growing. My senses got sharper. Okay, so let's make sure we get the soup and fire. I learned a skill. We need to keep getting everything. My senses got sharper. Okay, so what else can we go get? Okay, here are nearby allies uh, when uh, uh, Arts hits up to maximum 100% of healing power. I mean, yeah, well, that may, that may seem important. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and upgrade that. I'll make good use of this. Okay, so what is this? So, uh, illusory, illusory Bloom. Okay, so for the reaction stage here, inflicts a blaze upon landing hit. I don't know, I mean, it's worth a shot, but uh, no, we're not going to go for that right now. So... Now the the only thing that the uh, glimmer should keep on is the one that's called the, the the Great Garland. That's something she can focus on. Now for A, I'm gonna give you the Light Saving Sword, which is a heal self or with auto attacks and hits to a maximum of 100% of healing power, which is the uh, minor effect. Okay, now let's uh, make sure we do that. Okay. It would take us a lot of damage, so we should get as um, much of the, the healing we can we should, can possibly get. It's only we we find out is the um, the hit is going to increase our maximum by 100% to gain more healing power. Okay, well, look to me because we're low out of AP now, so uh, we need to so we we can keep what we have. Okay, so looking at skills, so it seems like that Schultz got the one here called the right back at you. Okay, well, I already got equipped already. Okay, so take a look for arts for today. Um, okay, well, still the same thing. Okay, so now she got the healing genius. Alright. Now look to me because uh, we're... We're almost, we're almost getting a little bit stronger, so now wait a minute. Now, I have not taken a look at the quest for chapter 3. So it says here, Face it with a pair of Fuse of Feronis's, Matthew and, and company gain some new allies, and with that, the final piece is in place to defend off the Mobius threat. Okay, now, now see to me, because we had to get this, uh, this scenario quest finished for Riku's workshop. So it says that uh, Riku needs the help with uh, constructing his uh, workshop. Assist him in any way that you can. Okay, so the reward we get here is that a four is it's for the, the blade stone fragment for four and two under the blade stone. So uh, let's make sure we we get that finished. All right, now moving on back to the fight with the Ignis. Okay, so so here what we're doing here. So the most important thing is that because when the going gets tough, so you're only allowed to take out the witch Ignis because we're able to keep our team focusing more. Because it's perfect, because we just want to make sure that each team member is focused on the wit Igna. Because we are taking a whole lot of damage and it's not good. Because one of these characters are taking highly damage and it's not looking too good. So we want to make sure we keep training stronger because I got a Matthew A and Shulk on level 23. So Rats and Glimmer are the only ones that are still on level 22, which is fine. Well, we're going to still keep at it because... We're, we're able to pull it off at the team here just to go and play to kill all of these enemies. Okay, well, we're not doing too bad. Not too bad at all. So, you know what? Well, let's just see. Now, we're going to use Slap Bomb. So, A and Shulk can go in. Not Shulk. Why well, am I saying Shulk? What the heck? How embarrassing. I'm, my bad. I meant A and Rax. A and Rax go, go, go on right here to using Slap Bomb. Okay, while well, the other level up, so now. Now, as you guys can see, because we now Matthew A and Shulk are the only ones that are on level 24, and Rats and Glimmer are the only ones that are on level 23. Okay, but well, that's perfect. That's not looking too bad at all, so let's go ahead and pick up the rubber in time. And we go interact with the A button, so that must be the one that we're looking for to take it back to Ricky's workshop. Okay, so we did claim one item. Cool, we got the, what we came for. Let's, uh, let's uh, find Riku the hammer for him. We should have begun by, by searching through Colony 9's storage area. Okay, now... Let's, uh, now, it, it, it makes it way more interesting if we uh, go back and slaughter to kill all of these guys in, at the enemy territory. 
So these guys are level 20 and we're, we're getting super strong now. So uh, yeah, let's go take out these Ignas. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some fusion going. So we're gonna build our fusion first. I'll go for Slit Edge. And I'll go ahead and focus on another... By toggling on another Ignas. Oh, come on. Can we toggle on another Ignas? Please? Why, why are we toggling, toggling randomly? Why can't... Yes, yeah, so please... No, let it be this... This Ignas. Okay, so we're able to gain 7 AP. Okay, not bad. Let's keep at it. Because the more the merrier, I mean, we, we just keep getting more stronger. Alright, so we're making sure we get all the healing we, we can get here. Because that's the only way we're going to get more stronger, because we had to keep on pushing through by building a whole lot of art combo. Because you can tell how crazy this, this is going to get, because it's going to get pretty powerful to see each other character go ahead and combine their own strength to one another as a team event, as a team here. So uh, let's go and have Matthew and Nicole go do Mega Crash. That was Mega Crash, was it? Okay, correct me if I'm right, it's a Mega... Oh, it's Mega Blast. Oh, my, my bad. <laughs> that was, um... That was a brain fart there because I was going to say Mega Crash, but it's, it's called Mega Blast. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now we can go ahead and check to see. Now, now it seems like that Shulk and Glimmer can go use this uh, powerful move called the Flame Slash. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool combo there, not gonna lie. Okay, hey, don't die on me now. Please don't die on me now. Okay, so can we please focus, focus on the Igna symbol? Please? I want you guys to keep your focus up, so how are you guys are taking too much damage? What the heck? Can we take that thing down pretty please? Hey, you should be reviving. You should be healing everybody. What the heck is going on here? Why are we focusing on randomly? What the heck? Okay, this is... This is not why I have a mind. Well, it's, it's good. I mean, we can take 7 AP. Okay, let's finish it off, please. Come on. Bring it strong, please. Bring it strong. Okay, well, this is bad. We should retreat. We should definitely retreat. Come on. It's a more like when we were here in the line that the show used to say, we could definitely do this. It's the same line from before when we uh, take uh, appropriate action in JRPG to go and face off many other different types of creatures with something we don't know of. I mean, something we do know, these enemies are getting pretty tough though. Now, we want to go and try enemy territory again, so uh, let's go ahead and step it up a bit more. We're going to step up our game phase and try to see if we can swarm to kill all of these enemies in one go. Because that's the only way we're going to get stronger, so... Now, it's a scene like that, um, that the rest of these three, Matthew, A, Nicole, and Shulk, they're the only ones that did level up to 25. And, except for Rast and Glimmer, so they're the only one on level 24. Okay, so someone needs to revive to the Glimmer, so Glimmer, why are you taking too much damage? Come on, we need healing, let's go. Let's uh, focus on healing everybody. Okay, now let's focus on this right here. Can we please? No! Focus on this creature. Thank you. So yeah, let's focus on the Ranster Ignite. That's the So that one is pretty tough. So we should focus on that one. Okay, everybody is taking highly damage, and that's not good. So, can we please get some more healing? Pretty please? Well, don't let it go again. Please, just uh, keep the focus up, people. Come on. Come on, strong effort. Let's be a team here. 
let's all be a team here. So let's just make sure, yeah, so please get that break. So who's gonna get the top hole? Somebody? Somebody's gonna get the top hole? I got to be A or Rat. Whichever character can go top hole. Okay, well, too late to go Jesus. Now, how in the world are you guys taking damage? You know what? We, we, there's no way we're gonna get chain attack with all of these uh, people dying so quickly. Okay, well, I I felt we're about to get this. Okay, let's make sure we kill them all. So wait a minute, who are we talking next? Wait a minute, what? Okay, hurry up and revive to me. What the heck is going on? Okay, come on, come on. Focus on this creature, please. Focus on this creature. Okay, so let's make sure we do chain attack here. So there's only three people left to, to handle things here. So we'll have Rats go in and pull up more work. So Rats have here the one that's called the Deliverance Hue, which will reduce the enemy physical defense by 45 percentage points during chain attack. Nice, okay, well, let's... Let's, let's get it for a shot. Yeah, so we gotta keep breaking through. So let's go for heavy rays. So that's gonna lead to overkill. So we're seeing a whole lot of e e people dying so quickly. Okay, so we're able to get the top all on this Igna. Alright, and we'll go ahead and watch this uh, 3D full battle style action here. So we able to, to keep cool, all right. Okay, and short guy here is the one that's called the Liberation Edge, which increases damage ratio by 100 percentage 100 points and grants the power charge to all allies. Interesting. Okay, so you'll, you'll be up next while go, Rats go ahead and fire with the uh, blaze. All right, and we go and lead that to 80 percent. Not bad. Okay, and we able to go level up quick. Okay. Not bad. Okay, well let's make sure we keep our focus up and take out that Igna symbol. That's something we should be focused on right now. So let's make sure we, we not take too much damage. Okay, so we want to make sure all these Igna get removed. So uh, Matthew, please don't die on us. We need you. We need you to survive. So come on. Everybody should survive. Okay, just gonna be me and Rat. So um, Matthew is almost done. So he's about to, to, to take things. All right, I think that's it. Okay, so we able to, to take down enemy territory. So uh, that's it. It's not that hard. I mean, we just uh, gotta keep pushing to it. Just get more stronger and get all the AP we can we can raise up. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and help out a ton. So this citizen needs help. So we should go in and take the underdogs. Okay, so we should go and help out a ton because that's the only way we're going to, to gain more AP because it's the only way we're going to keep the other team occupied because we have to go to Infinity Grove and keep these characters growing more stronger so that they go and learn something new to develop more and more of their art attacks. Okay, well let's just make sure we keep getting, getting more stronger, alright? Well, I, I realize because this game is extraordinarily hard. Okay, so we did save the, um, the city survivor. Well, who might you be? I'm Matthew. You made it out of the city, right? I come to help you out. Oh, fickle fate. Just as the mind the embers that were flickering out of Delta Fall granted me a miracle so grand. You are but a master of my life, but for the remainder of my earthly days, you'll never show this gratitude diminish. No need for any of that, I may just chill. Uh, and uh, while you're doing that best ahead into the Colony 9, they'll take care of you there. Colony 9 said you? I hear and I obey. May the tides of the heaven that speed you back, but the sooner that we made again meet the young master Matthew. Okay, now that's uh, one of the survivors we say, so Jonas it has been put in the uh, care of Colony 9. Okay, that's good to know. So we're able to gain more of the 15 AP. And we get more of a 6 AP, so that going in total up by 69. 
So uh, let's still look to, to see where we're going now. Okay, so we have to, have to head to Colony 9 storage area. So it's back somewhere over here. So we went to the spot on because there are only three side quests activity. So uh, yeah, let's make sure we, we head on back to the uh, to the storage area first and then take on the other side quest, whatever side quest we can take on. I mean, let's uh, just, let's, let's make sure that we get scenario quest finished for Riku. All right, now following this the trail ahead, so uh, we can uh, move straight down this path as we continue following it. So this is where we get back to the Riku's workshop. So uh, wait a minute, now let's uh, make sure we pick up that collectible. That may seem important. So we get here into the rabbit diode. Okay, so we get here into pasta bean. So we go climb up its ladder. So I think. This is, it doesn't look like Ricky workshop to me. I mean, like, no, nah, I mean, this is where we go to the storage area. Okay, so the storage area is where we go next. How is it looking? Have we got it? Hmm, I didn't see anything matching with the description. Well, damn, I knew it would be a hassle. What's the matter? Looking for something? Yeah, Ricky lost his hammer somewhere. You see anything like that? Ricky's hammer? Oh, I got it. I think I saw it. Had a not pointed looking design. I remember thinking it, it was funky. Yeah, that sound about right. Where'd you see it? Hmm, I think we forwarded it to a supply office. Nobody could make a head or tail of it, so I think the guys were talking about trying to sell it or something. No kidding! Well, at least it's a clue. If it were to indeed the sold with trouble that won't end here. I know that. Let's hurry to the supply office. Okay, well, let's make haste. So, I think we were supposed to go and move down here and go follow in this trail. So, yeah, well, I mean, we won't bother uh, just, uh, just to study on trail just to do any side quest activity. I mean, we're, we're still focused on the scenario quest for Riku Workshop. So, we had to talk to the supply manager. So, the supply manager is right here. So, we go and talk to him. Welcome, welcome. Anything you need? We're looking for a funky hammer. Got a Nopon looking design on it. And we hear it might have been sent here. Oh yeah, funky for the word, all right. It seemed really tricky to use, right? Bingo. Anyway, we really wanted to, so uh, would you mind giving it back? Right about that. In the end, someone said that they wanted to borrow it for a bit and carry it off. Just my luck, someone who? Um, sorry, I was working at the other time, so I didn't think to stop and question them. But I think that they say that they were going to use it in the central plaza. Sorry, I can't be more help. Right, I see. Okay, so what now? Can't be that many places in the central plaza where you expected to use a hammer. Good point. If we have a wonder around, we may find it sooner than we think. Got it. This is turning into a real odyssey, but that does seem quickest. Time to have a look around the plaza, man. Okay, so we have to go and look to see is it somewhere around here in the, the whole plaza. So we have to search via plaza for Riku's hammer. Alright, so we go and interact with the A button. This isn't Riku's hammer. Okay, so it's not one of uh, between these uh, barrels. So there's only three barrels we, we won't be worried about. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and search the next one. Well, I don't, I'm not entirely sure if the hammer is uh, in the the, uh, the table stool. So uh, let's check to, to see if the hammer is somewhere inside that tent. Okay, now that's the hammer we're looking for. Say, Matthew, could that be Riku's hammer? Well, yeah, that's the one. Hmm, yeah, it doesn't exactly look like a normal hammer. We might have hit the jackpot. Oh, if it's a spot, the cleaner forgot to put that thing away. So, Siami was uh, using it this whole time. It was uh, like the perfect size for steak in a tent, so I give it a spin. Actually, more of a flam will come to think of it. Well, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to ask you to return it. Its owners have been looking for it. Sure, I'm pretty much a finisher with it now. You go get that hammer home. I can't believe some people, 
if you finish with the job in the return for two, fool. Yeah, guess I can let it slide. At least that we got the order in the hammer for Riku now. Alright, so we just pick up one of his ultimate hammers to go give to the Riku at his workshop. So, uh, let's head... From the news. Um, okay, that's it. No, no other character has something to say. So, um, it said we have to head to the old house near Colony 9 front gate. Okay, and still, I mean, we just step onto the affinity scene because that's only when we're on chapter 4. So, uh, we're on chapter 3 now. So, let's head on back to Ricky's workshop at his old house. So, what, what are Ricky doing over there? Hey, Ricky, we're back. Her friends have got all needed things? Sure do. Err the other Robin Mentine that you order in the here of your hammer. Oh, Ricky is over mooned with joy. Now, can I put the finishing touches on workshop at long last? Please to wait outside at a moment. Ricky will be done in Jiffy. Ricky Workshop is now ready. You can now upgrade your weapons. Nice, okay, so Ricky is uh, a blacksmith now. So uh, he can go ahead and upgrade your weapon. How how amazing was that? This is crazy. Indeed. For an improviser workspace, it certainly is impressive. But I'm not too sure if the previous attendant that would have improved. Ricky will make the most of all resources that have been put at the disposal of Ricky. It's a model as a craft upon it, in fact. Yeah, yeah, great stuff. So, can you upgrade our weapons now? Of course. Would your friends are to try? First of time, come free. Ooh, get in. Well then, don't mind if I do. Okay, so we are tamed there to try our blade stone. Alright, so this is strengthening weapons. So you can strengthen your weapon at Riku Workshop in Colony 9. This will require gold and materials that can be obtained at treasure by defeating unique monsters, etc. Alright, well let's go and check in. So we can go ahead and upgrade some weapon by pressing on the A button to interact. Okay, now it seems like we were able to go ahead and strengthen each uh, character weapon. So it's, it's it's pretty cool stuff in that type of mechanic. So it seems to me because uh, A have here the one that's called the Monado 1. And uh, and now as we can see because... So Matthew have the one that's called the Ouroboros Knuckle 1. So uh, Nico had the unavailable uh, backpack one. Glimmer had the wildfire Kefara one. And Shulk got here is the one that's called the Monado Rats Plus one. And for Rats, he held here the one, the one that's called the Firelight Swords one. Alright, now let's see who who can get stronger. But you know what, I think we should go ahead and start with Rats first. Because he's, he's held in one of Pyra and Mithra weapons of that mechanic. So that only costs more but, um, but a lot of gold. So yeah, we can go ahead and strengthen up that weapon. And strengthenment complete. So it seems to me because uh, we're able to go out into the wild by defeating monsters and getting some fragment parts to the, go upgrade to his characters. Which may seem like fun stuff. Okay, let's make sure we get Rats more stronger. Please I recommend it. But not and we'll get Shulk more stronger too. To use, but not so uh, let's make sure we, we get each, uh, each character more stronger. Their instrument complete. How is a Blade feel? Okay, so Matthew is uh, feeling like a Power Ranger. Ooh, yeah, feels good. It's uh, even more like it's a part of me now. Ricky is complete to here, and essentially of Matthew. Yes. Where did a friend obtain that blade? What's this? Um, well, my uh, granddad used it originally. Granddad gave it to my apostle, he gave it to me, and now it's all mine. That's a sure deal. Ricky C. Why you ask? No particular reason. Ricky simply a bit curious. Blade is a good quality. Ricky the hope a friend that can make good use of for a long time yet. Yeah, that's the plan. Ricky ready to improve all friends of weapon in workshop in future also. However, rules of boom applied. 
that does stand for Brain of One Own Materials. Gotcha. Hope you are ready to get work hard, mister. Okay, so now we're just leaving the workshop. Right then, that, that's a business shortage. Shall we go back to the intensive rest? Yeah, well, it sounds like an excellent idea. Okay, and there we have it. So the quest has been completed. So say the workshop is ready at last. Riku is now able to attend to all your weapons and enhancement needs. Alright, now that being said, we can go on ahead and skip all of this. So it says changes, changes in Colony 9. Completing certain quests will cause changes to part of Colony 9. When a, a part when a part of Colony 9 changes, it will put the new feature at your disposal sometimes allowing you to obtain special items. So now Riku Good stuff. Is upgrading our weapons for us. Yes. There's a degree of comfort in leaving these things to professionals. Now I want to go in, in, in right ahead and explore Colony Nine a little by little because I I'm seeing because of it, it's a one of the container according to the, the mini map that is Beacon, so that just go and lead to the container. What we get here is a similar demise, the pure gemstone, and everything. So that's that's all we can we can take. I mean, that may seem. That, that, that may seem useful to us. Now, I want to go on ahead and take on each side quest. I think there are only two side quests that we got to keep an eye out for. So, uh, let's go this way. So, we're going to go to the uh, request board. Okay, so let's uh, do one of this uh, side quest and then we'll be done. So, let's go and interact with this and notice board. Yeah, a request board to be more precise. Whenever people in Colony 9 have a request that they post it here. Right. Right. Let's have a nose event. I lost my wedding ring somewhere in Colony 9. If my wife finds out I'm dead, please I beg you, someone find it. Lots of property case, eh? What else have we got? I see a couple of hunting missions. I saw a school of crawl asses that swimming around Colony 9's tower square. Please take them out so we can have fresh fish to eat. I think a rare kind of soox is nesting in the uh, later cave. I'd love to get my hands on it for science. Please, uh, can someone defeat it? So, uh, any problems are too big for any uh, one person to get resolved commonly. That's a corporation for you. Exactly. We've been uh, pitching it in two from uh, time to time. If you're ever bored, you could do the same. I will for sure. We gotta help one another in these uh, uncertain times. Okay, so this says uh, lost and found wedding ring. Okay, and the next one says here, take down crawl asses. And the third says here, big game in Shorox. Oh, and wait, it's in Shorox. I, I, I'm not in kind of showing my sin correctly, but you know what, let me go over, over this uh, quest again. Okay, so it's in Shorox. Alright, well, what we got here is several of these options over here. So, I, I think we should start off by the lowest level of the game. So, we were supposed to go and get all of these free side quests done. Well, maybe in the next episode. So, um, my suggest is that we, we take on the one that is called Wedding Wing. But, yeah, I mean, y'all going to have to stick around in the next series. Well, hopefully, we, we will probably go ahead and get this uh, quest away. Oh, man, what, what the heck is going on here? So what are these guys doing? Right, that's everyone present and uh, accounted for. Oh, your master Matthew. Hmm? Oh, hey, it's you guys. Well, Matthew, funny old world of meeting you here. Yo, say, what's this uh, meetup all about? Why have you got to be citizens all lined up like ma matchsticks? Very fresh crops of applicants, people who have volunteered to sign up with us of liberators. I owe mine our own life to your timely of rescue, young master. Ergo, I have a decided mind and heart to follow in your august footsteps and cast my lot in with the visa vigilante for their noble cause. I had it with a watching from their sidelines as well. I'm gonna go fight with you guys. Same. Ah, uh, you lot. Yeah, yeah, charming sentiments uh, for sure, but uh, we can't uh, just send them straight for the front lines. And so I got the pleasure of the training up the rookies. So this is like uh, one of your training sessions. I got gotcha. you. 
Hey, do you mind if I sit on this? I'm sure you'll be fine, but still, I feel kind of responsible for them. Your master Matthew, may they purchase your society. In my uh, city days, my skills as a sharpshooter were second to none, while I was at the top of the uh, rank for a not insignificant span of time. Oh yeah? Any actual combat experience? By a uh, concern or unfounded in actual combat, one need but comport oneself as one word in training. Gahaha! <laughs> Cool, so we know who dying first. Right, anyway, I don't mind, I guess. Feel free to hang around if you like. Yeah, thanks, we'll do. Okay, first, let's run through combat bases. We'll do it in a quick format as per. Stand by in the command, command center. Okay, now, there is another standard quest up that's called Instructor Pan Panacea. Okay, now that's something we can hold on for to later. I mean, we did trigger all, all four of the uh, of the standard quests. Now that's something we can wait on later. So let's put the um the the boss away where we're just showing the objective, which gets kind of distracted, but by our two eyes. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I really appreciate you guys are uh, tuning in and watching this episode. So next time on the Zero Blade Chronicle Free Future Redeem, we are going to take on this uh, next standard quest stuff that's called the the Lost and Found Wedding Ring. So that was something we can uh, wait on next series, you guys. So uh, you don't go anywhere and you will be able to stay tuned on the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you're liking the series and you want to see more of the Zero Blade Chronicles free, Future Redeem, be sure to leave an advertise to like, share the video, and, and subscribe. And if you haven't already subscribed, ring the notification bell so that you'll be still up to notified when we do some awesome videos. Have another way, so just making sure you guys are staying tuned in, and that will have to do it for today. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So we'll, we'll probably be picking up with some more Zero Blade Chronicles free future redeem. So I'll take care of you guys, and I hope to talk to you on the next series.